Black unis, the Houston Cougars in the red. And we are underway for the lead in Cameron, uh, Cameron Jones and Peyton McFarland. First shot by Houston, that one's in and out. You see quickly down the floor and off the fingertips of Bubakar. And BYU turns it back over. Whiting, steal by Whiting. Here's Wolston up for three. And that one is in. Turns around, now two for two. Now what a start for, for her. And corner pass, Smiler. Bubakar, shot clocks at seven. Now it's Wolston for three. And she's three for three to start the night. And a timeout by Ronald Huey. And Gustin, of course, leads the nation in rebounding. Leads BYU all time. Found as Whiting attacks the rim. Basket and a foul. It's 10 to nothing, BYU. Yeah, and she's a really good rebounding guard. She plays on attack. Has all that energy. 3.9 assists a game and 4.9 rebounds. She's one of the best rebounding guards in the Big 12. Didn't play last year with a torn ACL. So. He's really come out with a mindset to, to play aggressive defense. I like how connected they played. Smiler backs it out. Here's Gustin. Whiting picked up Smiler for three as time expires on his shot clock. BYU on a three game skid coming in. Here's Gustin in for two. Looking around inside. Here's McFarland up and in. It's, you mentioned a moment ago, BYU seems bound and determined to bring the defense tonight. And there's a good-looking shot outside by John. 27 double-doubles, number one in the NCAA. And uh, gets one of two. She comes in averaging 17 points. In the weak side help position all the way over. So play behind her and in front of her. And when that happens, somebody on the... See the one win in the last five. Tough to win. Even, even for the best teams at the top of the league. Cougars have come in and lost three straight. Here's Blair. She's got to be red hot for Houston. Blair. Coming in. And, and she, well, she's like Lauren Gustin for BYU. It just doesn't come off the floor. And then. Wolfson for three. Her second three of the night. She's back this team come in and really pressure the heck out of this team and head up to the free throw line. Let's Lauren Gustin reminds him a lot of Charles Barkley and Dennis Rodman. It Dennis Rodman and Charles Barkley, how about that? Really impressed me about Gustin this year as compared to previous years. He really learned. Oh, wow, how what about a, that? What? Boyd inside. This is McFarland working on Gustin. Done against Gustin. And here Lauren with the left hand spin. Three. That was lopsided in the opposite direction in the first move. Davenport with it. Here's Calvert into Gustin. Left hand off the glass and in. Really? Patterson over a thousand career points. In 25 games this year. Started 23 of those 25 games. So. Smiler back to Davenport. Not afraid to shoot the three. Here's a bounce pass to Gustin. Up and in. Uh, on the drive. Wow. Nifty move by Aaron. A little. Back to our oh, cut is Calvert. Beautiful pass by Whiting. Average 4.6 points a game and shot over 50% from the field. Oh, no, she's psyched up about trying to go. She was 4 or 5 in the last game. Blair on the miss in the scrum. They'll have a jump ball in the possession arrow. Wilson's going to come in for Bubakar, and BYU's going to play small here. In the last 24 seconds. Rose took goes on the drive, off the glass, and she's fouled. Over the line with 1.7. Too quick and couldn't avoid the contact. Whiting playing on attack. That microphone. Uh, when, it, when it clanks, you hear it. One of Dorothy, the third quarter hasn't been the best quarter for Houston. At the high post, and, and look, she was, you talk about playing on attack. She was going to get to the rim, and she was going to. And Layla Blair is at the other end, ready to make them pay. Eight points for Blair, most of them coming from that free throw. Shot clock under 10 for Whiting. In the corner, Wolston for three. 
Right, she is really, really feeling it. Four seasons. And, and whoever has her, I'm certain it's not supposed to go help. You just stay with her. Strong drive to the box. Smiler's got it. Here's Gustin. And in the fight, we have a jump ball. Narrow is going to favor BYU. Unless there's a foul call. And I, I didn't is it on didn't... Merchant? She went flying in the contact with Gustin. And McFarland. Oh, uh, buzz. Um, they, they, they gave a flop warning and gave the ball back to BYU. Johnson driving right to the basket. Back to back buckets by Johnson. Too strong on the shot. Ball knocked around and out of bounds. And it just three points so far tonight. And two straight. Smiler for three. And she's fouled on the shot. And that's going to give her three free throws. And it's been a frustrating night. Now Johnson comes back in for Houston. And Jones is coming out. And Joe, she's really been disruptive to BYU's offense defensively. Smiler. The 2024 Phillips on ESPN+. Plus. Smiler gets all three. Steps inside the arc. Fight for the rebound, and this will be on Gustin. And for Gustin, that's her first first personal foul. In a physical game that this is, is Wolston. Backdoor pass to Whiting in the foul. And Whiting landed awkwardly. Up the foul, her third. And after you've lost a player to an ACL, every time they hit the floor, the head coach, who's the mom, Holds her breath. Yeah, and I don't even know how Amari made that. She jumped off the wrong foot. We call it goofy foot, right? So she jumped off. Here comes Houston in a hurry. Strong drive to the basket and the finish. Next year, there'll be new teams in the league, and it won't be Texas or Oklahoma. Gustin off the glass, goes high for it. The Cougars' high marks come when they keep their opponent under 66 points. And there for three, Patterson. Another long rebound to Houston. Blair will try a three and knock it down. Right now, great effort by Johnson. Gustin off the glass and in Calvert with a And we haven't seen a lot of zone in this game. Uh, Ron Huey expected them to run some zone. He said, but when they do, we've got to be patient and get good looks. That's a good three. Got it. Early offense, Houston scrambling to get back in transition. And Whittleston to the free throw line. The ball, and that's what you got to do. Gustin gets it back, puts it up and in. Here's Smiler. Davenport on the baseline. Corner, Whiting for three. Got it. Amber Whiting said the key to winning this game is the extra effort. She pointed on oh, 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 say He said she's in the active shoot. That's what brought out some. 88% from, from the line, as you can see. Just coolly just times him. The ball never came in, and she never went out. Trying to shake Wolston. Up over Wolston. Knocks down the shot. Keep his team in it. Gustin. Kick to the corner. Davenport for three. What an unselfish play by Gustin. She had a... Not that time. Blair. Inside. She does a really good job of staying in position and going straight up. Just going vertical, Amari. I just need to check this thing out and see if I'm really this hot. 1,649 rebounds, number five in NCAA history. Right. And of course, she leads the country this season. Blair with it. Here's Aaron for three, and knocks it in. Go up with it, and she finishes at the rim. Does everything right. And he says he's also got Tremendous work ethic, so she best is the best. Each player reads a chapter, and, uh, and and they pick up passages and legacies that both of these players leave. And you talk about toughness. My I've never seen her play from New Zealand. And she comes back out and plays, and I'm thinking, how did she do that? They stay to well, so yeah, My family came too play. far, and they're watching Mary Center. Cougars win it by 10, BYU. Houston beat the Cougars by 10 in Houston, and BYU beats the Houston Cougars in Provo by 10. And in the Both in double figures, Whiting and Wilson. Whiting six boards, Wilson five. Whiting was over tonight for Wilson. Came out hit. Scored BYU's first eight points.